Welcome to the Door Digs studio. Historically and aesthetically fascinating, this house museum showcases works of art by the internationally acclaimed 20th century sculptor Karl Dulldig and his wife, the artist and inventor Slava. In the artist's charming former home, garden and studio, the sculptures, drawings, paintings and decorative arts tell the story of their creative lives in Vienna, Singapore and Melbourne. It was after the artist's death that their only child, Eva, renovated the house, added a gallery space and opened the museum to the public. Our house, into which we moved in the 1950s, with its hand-built European furniture and distinctive decorative arts, as well as my parents' art, came to embody the family's life and history. I felt compelled to preserve it intact so that it would continue to tell our story as reflected within its walls. The back garden, screened from the neighbouring property by a thick lily-pilly hedge, was private and sheltered, with large flowering gums, abundant fruit trees and a giant elm that looked as if it had escaped from neighbouring Central Park. The sculptures in the garden are left just as my father placed them, he worked in stone, wood, copper, bronze and terracotta and loved to see sculptures outdoors. His terracotta figures seemed to come to life in the garden he created at the back of our house. People, their expressions, movements, interactions and activities were a source of endless inspiration for Carl Dulldig. For Dulldig, every situation created boundless opportunities for his work. Whether it was in a local cafe, an exotic setting such as colonial Singapore, or within the barbed wire confines of an internment camp. My father built a studio in which he and my mother worked and gave art classes. He installed the kiln. It and all the sculptures, tools and materials are just as he left them. Sometimes my father used just an axe to carve into the Australian eucalypt. His natural talent found new expression 
both from the materials that were available and from the spirit of the Australian bush. Although he became immersed in this new environment, he nevertheless still retained a strong connection to the age-old myths and stories of the European tradition from which he had come. The Daldig's house is a 1920s Californian bungalow, similar to many built at the time. However, its design and finish incorporate a number of distinctive features. The house had an unusual floor plan with interesting angles, cosy with nooks and open fireplaces. Here are Vienni's furniture and decorative arts married in with the unusual design, and soon sculptures, drawings and paintings filled every available space. It was to be my parents' last home. As a young woman in Vienna, Slava Horowitz had not only the skills of an artist, but of an inventor. In 1929, she took out worldwide patents for her invention of the first modern foldable umbrella. My mother was very proud of her invention, and before her death in 1975, she wrote, while I was studying at the Academy of Fine Arts, I often went to draw in the Kunsthistorisches Museum, Vienna. Walking with my friend, Karl Duldig, one cold and wet May morning, I armed myself with a big umbrella and said to myself, why on earth must I carry this utterly clumsy thing? Can't they invent a small foldable umbrella which can easily be carried in a bag? And that is exactly what she did and for 10 years she received royalties from her ingenious invention. Now a public museum and art gallery, the Dulldig Studio offers an insight into the world of two passionate and inventive artists. Students, teachers and the general public have the opportunity to explore and enjoy fine art in an authentic domestic setting, an inspiring and rare privilege. <laughs> <laughs> 